pleasant place. Everything's nice here. Okay, now then with a large brush, I want to create the illusion of mist. So all I'm going to do here is just tap, just tap the base. Just tap. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It'll certainly teach you how to use all the equipment and have a lot of fun. From all of us, happy painting and God bless. Hey everybody, welcome to the Gunmeister. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do something I get asked about a lot. So basically it's this. How do you get the lettering of your gun to be colored? It's actually really simple and I'm gonna show you today how to do it. You're gonna need some old rags, um, an old gift card or old credit card, doesn't matter. You're gonna need the color of your choice, um, fingernail polish, I think fingernail polish works the best. I've tried um, model paint. I've tried the paint sticks and pens. They just don't really work very good for me. So I just, I prefer just uh, fingernail polish. So whatever, whatever color flips your pancake, that's what you need to use. And then uh, acetone, fingernail polish remover. Uh, I use non-acetone. I've used actually both and acetone and non-acetone. And honestly, it doesn't really seem to make any difference. It certainly doesn't seem to affect uh, the finish on the gun. Just for the sake of it, I use non-acetone because I feel like I feel like it's less harsh on the finish, but I could be totally wrong. I want you to know that these guns both have been safety checked. Both been, uh, both been cleared. Always clear your gun before you start. Here's the saying I've gone by, and it's, it's always done me pretty good. Gun loaded, safe. Gun unloaded, safe. Gun maybe loaded, just like grape. So let's go ahead and get started on this right here. Today this is the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. Again, this gun has been cleared prior to uh, starting this filming. We're good, okay? So first thing you're gonna wanna do with this gun is break it down. Um, we're only gonna be painting the M&P 9 Shield, the Smith & Wesson logo, and probably the Smith & Wesson Springfield uh, logo here, and then on top of the barrel where it says uh, 9 millimeter, right here we're gonna paint that, okay? So, that being said, let's go ahead and take our part and uh, get it ready. Now everyone should pretty much know how to take your gun apart. If you don't, time to get out the manual. That's step one for you. So we're gonna take this apart and uh, we're gonna set everything else off to the side because we're not gonna need it. We're gonna need the barrel and we're gonna need the slide. That's it, okay? So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to need to kinda of clean these oils off of the places that you're gonna paint. And the reason you're gonna do that is because you want the paint to stick. And if you don't, it, it probably won't stick very well. Which leads me to the next thing. I get asked too, how long does that stay on there? I have guns that have had this on it for, for years and it has never come off. Um, so it doesn't really seem to like wear off. I mean, I guess it could if you had like extreme hard use on it, but I, I've never had it come off. The other thing too is if you get tired of it and you want it off, all you have to do is uh, get some acetone or non-acetone and kind of put it on there, let it sit on the paint for just a little bit. Then you can take a brush and brush the paint out or wipe it out and it'll be back to, uh, back to not painted. It's pretty simple. Okay, so now, put, always, put the, always put the lid on this bad boy. So now, we've got that done and we're ready to do our paint. So, it's really simple guys, I mean, a lot of people overcomplicate this. So you're gonna shake your paint up a little bit. And then um, you're just gonna unscrew it like this. And you don't need a whole bunch. You know, you kinda wanna make sure it fills in all the, the nooks and crannies, you know, just like this. I see people, man, they just, they hit this stuff and they just go nuts with it. I mean, there's so much on there, it looks friggin' ridiculous. So, anyway, so I've got that on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gift card and you're gonna kinda use it to take off the excess, okay? So I'm just gonna put it on there and just kinda 
pull it down like that and it should just remove the excess paint just like this see that's it and the reason I do that is because it's gonna have to dry before you can go on really to the next step and the more you get off now the easier it is and uh, quicker I feel like that just is the best way to do it so just wipe wipe your edge off on your card just like that okay and you move on to the next section which in this case is the Smith & Wesson logo. So, I'm just going to dab it on. Nice like this. You're really, it's kind of like, almost like silk screening, I guess, in a sense. And that you're, you're pulling, pulling the paint into all the, the crevices. So there you go. There's that. And then we're just going to take our card, just like we did before. I'm just going to pull it down, just like that. Got a little, little excess right there, and that's okay. You can just wipe that off. See how we're doing? It's like that. And you take this, wipe that off. Now, here's the thing. You kind of want to let this dry before you start wiping the excess off with the, uh, with the acetone. And the reason is, is because this stuff kind of settles, <clears throat> and the acetone, if you get it in there, it's still really wet. I had it a few times, especially on guns that have the engravings that aren't super deep. Um, it'll start like pulling up some of your fill that you put in there, and it'll cause you to have to do it again. The other thing I'm going to tell you is when you do do this, um, try not to get any of the paint into like you know your traction areas here, or if you have uh, any kind of uh, deep engravings that you don't want painted, or up here like in your your uh, dovetails for your slide or for your uh, sites and such just try to be as, as neat as possible because the the neater you are with this the easier it's going to be for you another reason I like to use a fingernail polish is because it dries fairly quickly so you're not sitting here forever so that feels dry enough we're gonna go ahead and turn it over and we're gonna do this area here again we're gonna just do the same process just dab this on there and you just kind of spread the paint around initially to get it, you know, into all the little detents of the uh, logo or whatever. Like this, okay? And we'll put that back in there. And we're going to take our little card and we're going to do the same thing we've done all along. You just kind of clean it off. That's it. Wipe this down. Okay? And that is pretty much that. These are filled in. But here's one thing I will tell you. Sometimes when you do this to a gun, you're gonna find a gun and it will piss you off because it pisses me off. Where the stamping isn't as deep on one side as it is on the other. This gun is pretty good. Smith & Wesson's pretty good about it. Um, but sometimes you'll come across a gun where it's real deep right here and not so deep on the stamp over here. And it looks, you can't get it even and it's frustrating. Um, so we're going to set this aside and let that dry for a minute and we're going to go ahead and do our barrel now the barrel again is the exact same thing as anything else just on this one you want to be careful because you have like your loaded chamber window right here and you've got a couple little millings here and there that if you get the, the paint the fingernail polish stuck in there you can get it out but it's kind of a pain in the butt so if you're if you're careful when you do it you know, it, it helps to be easier to clean up when you finish. So just take your time. It's not a race. Slow and steady, right? So here we go. Just a happy little paint. Just right, right on there. Yep. So the same process as before. We're going to take our card and we're just going to squeeze that right out of there, so to speak. Just like that. Just like that. Get the excess off as much as you can. Now that one I made kind of a mess. But that's okay. And uh, take our rag, we'll wipe that off. Right? And there you go. So we're going to set this aside, the barrel we just did, let that dry for a few more. Well, we'll let that dry while we wipe this one down. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on the rags. Um, I use cut up old t shirts, and there's a reason for it. If you use like a towel, or you use like, um, I don't know, like a. Uh, a washcloth or something like that they have they're thick okay 
and that thickness will actually get down in the grooves when you wipe it out and it can take out some of your paint. So typically, I like to use a t-shirt. And just put a little bit on there and I start at the top, you know, or, or wherever. It doesn't take much. I'm not, I'm not pressing hard. I'm not digging down into this. I'm literally just kind of rubbing the surface to get the excess off, okay? So I've done that, and if you look on this, and I know you can't probably can't see this on the screen, but there's actually white paint right here from that. Now, when I get to that point, I use a different spot because if you don't, you're going to end up just rubbing white paint over something you're trying to clean the white paint off of. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Again, just lightly, just lightly, okay? And then, I'll take that, set that right there, I'll get a new one. And I will take the new one, fold it, put this on here, and then I'm just gonna do a light wipe to get any, any excess that may be on there off. Okay, just like that. And that's it, that part's done. So I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just lightly wiping, lightly wiping. Okay. Now, you see like right there on the W, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, it's a little light right there where it says Wesson. And I'm not real happy with that. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to do another coat real quick, just like this. I'm going to kind of pull it through. There we go. That's it. And that's the great thing about it is like, you, you know, if you get make a mess or you have a problem, literally you can do it again. It's, it's not a problem. So we just did that one, so we're gonna set that one aside, let that dry for a few minutes, and we're gonna clean off our our barrel while that dries. So I'm gonna take again a clean cloth, just put a little bit of this on there, not much, and we're just gonna wipe the excess off. And dry it up. See how nice that looks? It's great. I like it. And people say, well, why do you do it? There's really no reason for it. I just like the way it looks. I think it looks good. I like that strong contrast. And I've even gone as far as like sun guns have like the, uh, the fire and the safe and they have like an F and an S or whatever. And um, I'll color them different colors like white and red or strong contrast or I mean, whatever, whatever you like is fine. There's really, there's no wrong way to do this. I mean, there's no wrong color. It's just, it's whatever you prefer. Now, one thing to keep in mind, once you're done this and you've, you've wiped it down and you're happy with the way the paint looks on the gun and the logos are looking great, um, you want to wipe it down again with oil because the areas you've just uh, put the acetone on, you've just taken all the oil off this gun, okay? So just, just do that and then uh, reassemble. Looks really good, looks good. So um, that's how you do it. And there you go. All right guys, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Gunmeister. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Gunmeister. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. <laughs>